Who isn't intrigued by a week's worth of groceries for a family of six for one penny? It is not too good to be true. It can be done. We know because we went shopping with a woman who knows how to make coupons and circulars really pay. She doesn't have to. Here's ABC's Taryn Winter Brill with more. Say hello to Kathy Spencer, a Massachusetts mother of four who knows how to work a coupon. Kathy, is this your secret stash? It's my stash of coupons. Every week, Kathy spends a couple of hours scanning newspapers, circulars, and the web. When I go to the store, I only buy what works out free or close to free, and that's how I do it for as little as I can. I decided to put Kathy to the test. Our first stop, Shaw's Supermarket. This stack of coupons. This is what's going to take us to the promised land. <laughs> Are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right, here we go. Let's, Let's do go. this. Tip number one, check out your store's policy. Some will let you use multiple coupons on the same order. I'm going to get some scallop. Um, I'm going to get some perch. On this trip, Kathy has seven coupons, each for a dollar off seafood. That means if she places seven seafood orders that each cost around a dollar, everything will be free. Instead of getting a full pound, I'll get a quarter of a pound, so it works out to a dollar, so I can use my dollar off coupon, and it's free. If I bought the full pound, it wouldn't be free. This is perch. Okay. And I got a quarter of a pound. It comes to a dollar eight. So after the coupon, eight cents. And Kathy even has a plan to cover that extra eight cents. With tip two, stockpile those store credits. Every time Kathy shops at Shaw's, she gets coupons worth certain dollar amounts towards her next order. So Kathy saves them up and uses them to cover what her coupons won't. They are on sale for a dollar. I have a 50 cent coupon which doubles. So it takes a dollar off, so these are great. Free pizza. Her secret weapon, tip three. Ask the store if any of your coupons can be doubled. Now I know you can't wait to see what happens at the register, but first we're heading to another store. Okay, so it's time to do some drug store shopping. We're here at CVS and Kathy says the trick is something called extra care box, which means free stuff. Let's do it. So I have a coupon okay. for a free two ounce soy-based candle. Okay. And here they are. Do you have to buy one to get one free? No, nope, just... totally free. Okay. I'll get two of these for free. Was this in the CVS circular? No, nope, this is from the Sunday paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so CVS accepts manufacturer coupons. Yes. Too. And you can use the CVS store coupon with a manufacturer coupon. You can combine, combine them? Yep. Really? And that's tip four. Always ask whether you can combine the store's coupon with a manufacturer's coupon for extra savings. The total? $79.26. But with coupons. All right, here we go. I love this part. Five cents. <laughs> Once again, you've done it, Kathy. <laughs> All of that for five cents. By only focusing on what you can get for free or close to free, Kathy's been able to feed a family of six for the unbelievable amount of four dollars a week. Kathy, this is quite a cupboard you've got yourself here. Now we should say all of this stuff is f was free. You got everything in here for free. Mm -hmm. This is where if anyone needs food, this is where they know. Come in this cabinet and here's our stockpile of uh, food, our own personal food pantry. And back at the market, the time has come to see how much Kathy will pay for the newest items she'll add to her stockpile. All right, here we go. It's time for Kathy to check out. Are you ready for this? I hope so. All right, this is where the magic happens. Here we go. Okay, so we're about to put the coupons up, but the subtotal of four coupons, $267.23. And I was stunned by what happened next. As each coupon was scanned, the total slowly went down until... Wait, let me get this right. You, your whole order just came to one penny. That, that was a $267 order. I beat my record. <laughs> you beat your record. Congratulations. I think a round of applause. That's what you get for a penny. <laughs> For Good Morning America, Taryn Winterbrill, ABC News, Boxford, Massachusetts. Job well made. <laughs> we're just all, <laughs> we're just amazed how she does that, and trying to imagine the cashier going through all those. Amazing. Amazing. Good for Make, her. Makes you feel inferior, her. doesn't it? Anyway, way to go. Uh, check it all out at abcnews.com if you want to know more.